Hello everyone, this is me Alex from How to Electronics. In this project, we're gonna learn how to send ESP32 CAM capture image to Google Drive. We can use ESP32 CAM module to click pictures after any specific duration of time and then upload it to a specific folder. But this project is totally different as we'll be using Google Drive API to upload image to Google Drive. So we'll require a specific client ID and password to access the folder to the cloud. So the project is divided into a multiple sections, uh, which includes writing the code for ESP32 CAM and then uploading it. Similarly, we have to install Python and its required libraries. And then we'll have to set the Google Drive API. And then we'll write the Python code to upload the images to Google Drive. So this project will gonna be very, very interesting. So without getting any delayed, Let's get started. This video is sponsored by my favorite PCB manufacturer company called Next PCB. They offer PCB board and PCB assembly services at lowest affordable price. You can get trial PCB, two layer PCB, and four layer PCB with free PCB assembly shipping services up to a fast lead time of 24 hours. All you need is to visit nextpcb.com and upload a Gerber file. Select the PCB quantity, color, material type, and other details. Then place an order. You will get high quality PCB within 48 hours. Welcome back again. This is an ESP32 based camera module developed by AI Thinker. The controller is based on 32 bit CPU and has a combined Wi Fi, Bluetooth, or BLE chip. This is the OB2640 camera module for photography and video streaming. The board also supports an SD card of up to 4GB. The SD card stores capture images and video for image processing application. This board doesn't have an onboard programmer. So in order to program this board, you need to use USB to TTL converter module. The programming method has been explained in earlier videos and also in the website article. So let's move to the project part now. The project uses a code for ESP32 CAM library created by your Sunny. The library supports ESP32 CAM and OB2640 camera. You can download the zip file and add it to the Arduino IDE using library manager. Now open your Arduino IDE and from examples open a file called Wi-Fi CAM. In this example, you need to change the Wi-Fi SSID and password. The code is same as for the previous projects. To upload the code, select the ESP32 rover module from the board list. Also select the COM port and then click on the upload button to upload the code. Once the code get uploaded, open the serial monitor. Then remove the shortening jumper and press the reset button. If everything is fine, then you will see the camera OK message on serial monitor and the local IP address of camera will be printed. Now go to your web browser and download the Python latest version. Python is required because the machine learning and image processing part is done by Python libraries. After the Python get downloaded, complete the installation process. Now everything is ok. So go to your browser and search for Google Developer Console and then click on the first link. Google Cloud Platform will be open. So from here, you need to create a new project. Give the project any name that you want. For example, I will name it as How to Electronics and give it your email address and the location. So a dashboard is created. Go to this library and then look for Google Drive API. Click here to enable it. Now go to the OAuth consent screen. Here select the external and then click on create. Give app any name. For example, I will be giving it how to electronics. Set the email address and then give the developer contact information email address. You can use the same email address. Click on save and continue. Again, click on save and continue. Now go to the credential. From here, you need to create a credential. So for this, select create OAuth client ID 
and from application type select desktop app and then click on create so you will receive a file created in json format just download this json file now rename the downloaded json file as something like this open the python code in any python editor you can get this code from how to electronics link article so from here you need to change the url for the esp32 cam this is the url that you got earlier while uploading the code now here is an option for the folder now you need to change this value according to your folder to get this value go to your google drive and create a folder name the folder anything like you want like you need to store the images to this folder now when you open this folder you will get a token like link at the top of the url just copy this link and then paste it in your python code near to the folder so this is the setup that is done from our end now go to run and click on run module now it will also open the google drive so you just need to sign in so authentication has been completed you just need to capture the image so i am showing my hand so the image has been captured so another image has been captured the time limit can be set from the code so here in the google drive you can see there are photo is stored that is the same capture image is stored so this is how you can upload the capture images to the google drive using the google drive api the link for all the project description articles and the method to program it has been explained in how to electronics website article you can follow this article to learn more thank you so much for watching